Hello everyone and welcome back to Halflands, which I must say received a rather warm welcome on the channel yesterday and in fact quite a few people commented that they would really like to see as much of the campaign as I care to show. So with that in mind, instead of skipping forward several paces, we're going to jump straight into the second um, mission on the campaign. That way, if the series does garner enough interest for me to go through the whole campaign, then we won't have any weird gaps in our coverage. So we're going to be starting on Westerners, uh, sorry, Brewing Beer, which is going to teach us about the Westerners. Now, let us settle on this unclaimed piece of land. There's an old warlock's tower nearby, but it is probably long abandoned. Oh, you naïfo. Different cultures have different resource chains. Westerners have bread, the best food source in the game. But over here, it, we're probably going to want to set up uh, a marketplace to buy food just to kickstart things, which is quite a reasonable thing to, to uh, do. And you know what? Let's We could mix things up a little bit. Um, no, I quite like the, the way that we had going to begin with. We'll just set this up as a starting uh, spot. So we'll go around here. There we go. Let's start getting people in, please. And then we are going to have... Uh, sure, let's go ahead and... Hmm, how do we want to set this up? Because we've got trees there, we've got mushrooms over there. That isn't too far away. Yeah, okay. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to place an apothecary here. We're going to delete this. Oops. We're going to delete this rather. And then we're going to just set this out all along here, I think. We're going to go for a slightly different design from the ones we were using previously. Now, I've noticed that it wants us to have 48 houses. That's effectively two districts worth. You know, it's not going to be a small amount of work for us to do. Not a small amount, not by a long shot, but... Uh, We'll see what we can do. Let's bring that over there. We're just going to set up the, the district somewhat like this. Now, up here is where we're going to have our um, stop piles. We'll start with two. Now, cancel everything, but I want to allow... Hmm, depends on what we're going to be bringing in, really. So, as the game suggested, let's start off with... Let's uh, take this out of the city, and we'll have our trading area just up here. So, for this, we're going to want a marketplace. You can have multiple marketplaces if you want. I'm going to go with, yeah, two for now. Now, that's going to need quite a few workers. Now, we are going to be getting lots of notifications about trade routes opening. Honestly, it's something that annoys me a little bit about the game is how frequently they happen. But at the moment, we can sell bread and a beer, and we can um, bring in leather, cheese, eggs, and cider. Now, that's a lot of money we've got with us. So, uh, sure, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll kickstart the economy. No, we're not going to take cider, though. We're just going to take eggs. Now, buy up to. This is a little bit deceptive, so I'm going to go over it. First, let's bring this all the way down to 16. And the same with cheese. Now, the number on the side is in many cases affected by your relationship with the people that you're buying it from, how much they're willing to sell to you or how much they're going to buy off you. This is per year, but this is based only on the stock room of the marketplace. If I say, bring me 16 eggs, I'll buy 16 eggs. And once they're in there, that's going to stop them from buying any more. But if, for example, I do this and I say, get all the eggs and get all the cheese, bring them down here, 12 um, a piece, then 12 eggs are going to leave, that leaves only 4, so it means that they would be quite willing to buy another 12 eggs, even though the total in my kingdom is, is over 16 at that point. Now that's something to, to be aware of, it only cares about the stock room of the marketplace itself, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't count anything else. Now we've got a little area over here, but we've also got a, a spot all the way up here, and since we're already there anyway, we may as well run a road all the way up, and place down some well we can get by probably with just one i would say uh we need one path uh, carry per every 24 houses you will need one woodcutter's lodge and two herbalist shops per every two apothecaries yeah we're fine uh we'll also build though a woodcutter's lodge and this is going to necessitate another thing and that is we're going to want a forester now i would like the forester over on this side and this forester should be planting both both trees and mushrooms in here, I am going to set up a, a combined stockroom. Uh, we are going to accept, uh, let's see, we're going to accept 12 logs and accept 
12 medicine. That's it. It'll stop stockpiling it once it reaches that point. Actually, I might reduce the logs a little bit more and increase this up to 16, honestly. There we go. That's a little bit better because it's kind of more important. Down here, we are going to want to bring in the medicine, but only down to 12. And there we go. That'll be a good little start. Now, until we get some food, our population is going to be fairly low. We've got zero unemployment. We're using exactly as many people as we possibly can, which is, you know, not, not bad, actually. Uh, right. Down here, though, we are going to want some more houses. So let's go ahead and set those up. And then, uh, no, we won't, we won't have this one there. We'll uh, pop these ones over here, I think. There we go. Just changing things up just a tad. Uh, there we are, and this can come all the way across, and down, and then connect up there as well. Perfect. I like it. Right, so this should be a, a nice little district here. We're going to have trees, we're going to have mushrooms being gathered there, everything should be well. Now, for our own food though, we're going to need to set up the, the bread production chain is actually a lot more complicated than the other production chain, so it's going to take us a little bit of time to get that one done. Uh, let's draw out a road and we'll start this a little ways out. Now, for two bakeries, we're going to need two growers lodges with a full complement of grain plots, two mills as well, a, lot, a, a well and a woodcutter. So how about we bring this down here? so that we can hook into that straight away. We're going to slow down speed a little bit while we do this. So first and foremost, the woodcutter's lodge. Next, I would like a storage area. But since we're going to be using this wood right here, I'm going to make this one... Mm, yeah, I'm going to say this one should request logs. Actually, I should have done that last. So uh, there we go. So it's requesting logs and it'll just get all the logs it can, which is great. Next up, we are going to want a bunch of growers. And I have been told that no, it doesn't matter. The ground has no actual effect on how fertile the ground is, the, the ground coloration that is. Uh, we're going to place down a scarecrow each because these crops will actually get um, munched on by crows. And it just so happens that a scarecrow gives uh, enough protection for 24 towels, so that's quite convenient for us. So that'll give us all of the plots that we need. Next up, we are going to want, um, let's say over here we're going to request, uh, we'll have the, the storage here. But this one, I'm going to request two things. One, I'm going to request 12 grain. And two, where is flour? I'm going to request 12 flour as well. So there we go. Uh, for this one, I'm going to draw out a little tile. And we'll place down two mills. One there, one there. So that is all working fine. And then finally, we're going to have another storage area. And we are also going to ha want to have a well. We can place the well pretty much anywhere we want really. I guess I'll place it there just for the sake of it. And then over here I'm going to draw this out a little bit and we'll place down the last two components we need and those will be the bakeries. So this we want to accept bread. That's all it's going to do. The wood will be used there. Uh, except that it's being sent all the way over there as well, which is a little bit uh, curious. Uh, this one really should be requesting the wood. I, I thought it was. Hmm, curious. That might be a little bit of a pain, honestly. Oh, well. Then all of this is more or less set up, but it's going to take a long while before, before that actually kicks in. So we're going to be living off the generosity of our neighbours for a little while. I say generosity. It's not really generous. They're not actually giving it to us for free. Uh, we will request 12 bread there as well, though. Okay, next up, we can start work on the alcohol. Now, for a brewery, beer brewery produces one load of beer from one load of hops, one load of grain, and one load of locks. Um, also water. Uh, build a well nearby to provide a steady supply of water to the beer brewery. Okay, so I'm going to want two of these as well. There we go, and we'll draw out that path. Next, though, we're going to need hops. 
Uh, we can get these up along here, I would say. That shouldn't be an issue. And this one, slightly different. I don't think the scarecrows actually affect the hops. I could be very, very wrong. Let's hope that we're, I'm not. There we go. That gives us 24 each. Nice rows because they're a different kind of plant. And we're going to want another... I would say we want one more grower's hut. So we'll place this one here. It doesn't really matter where we place these. We can put them as far away as we want. It'll affect a little bit their um, efficiency in getting out there, but they should be able to manage that still. Uh, I don't think we wanted anything else. You you are going to need logs. Yeah, you're going to need quite a lot of logs, actually. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and place down a second woodcutter. There we are. Oop, there's something on the floor there. Let me get rid of that. There we go. Not sure what it was. And at this point, we do want to get some logs being replanted. So, don't care for mushrooms, but we do care for logs. Now, over here, we're going to want two things. One, we're going to want storage for the beer. And the other... Because I want, I want the beer, the end product, to be stored in quite large quantities. So, I'm going to say you can accept the beer there. But this one is just going to accept the hops. There we go. And since it's the only one that's accepting them, that's fine. There we are. Now, over here, we can place down our second, our third, rather, um, storage area and tell them to request beer. Oops, went slightly too far. Unfortunately, right-click does not allow you to go back a step. I wish it did. Everything's going okay out there. How much medicine? We don't... Well, we actually have a, a little bit of medicine. It seems okay. Uh, all right, then. Now, let's have a look. Not enough workers. Yeah, I know. kind of sucks, doesn't it? Maybe I should start trading for cider. So expensive, though. Mm. Okay, we'll buy a little bit of cider for now. Uh, we'll set that in and pull that down slightly. But I'm going to leave it in the marketplaces unless I've actually got something to use it. I'm not just going to take it out of the marketplace just to increase the amount that I'm buying. I would rather wait on that. So there we are. We should start seeing these houses upgrade, and that'll give us a big old wallop of population. How are things going down here? It's going to take a little while to get all of that up and running, but I'm fairly certain that we've got a decent setup down here otherwise. Uh, bread is going okay. That's just accepting bread. Yeah, we should be okay. There we go. Now it's looking nice. Okay, so as our population increases, we are easily going to have enough room for everyone that we need here. So, while that's happening, let's go ahead and build out and set up the furniture um, industry. Okay, there we go. Our whole industry is set up. I haven't yet built any uh, forests because we're not going to need it for a little while. So, I'm just going to let that sit for now. This one's just requesting logs and planks. This one is accepting furniture. And that should tide us over fairly well for a little while. And as you can see, we are now upgrading houses because there's a supply of furniture coming through. And soon, there we go, we are good. Uh, we've got we've got enough extra room that it doesn't matter about the worker shortage that will eventually fill Though it would be nice if we were getting these the pieces of furniture a little tiny bit faster Are we bringing in enough bread now? It looks like we might be yes, we are okay. That's fantastic in that case Then I'm gonna cut off the cheese. I'm not gonna cut off the eggs yet Ooh, I really really should have said that to only accept 16 my lord Ah, uh, Silly Billy aren't I? Uh, what have we got in there? We've only got... No, I, yeah, it's only cider. We haven't yet got uh, the beer up and running, but we are making it. There we go. It's off. And fantastic. So we've got our own beer now as well. So, the most expensive of the trades I'm going to cancel. We no longer want any cider. They, there's quite a few people willing to buy beer off us, though. So that may be something that we want to look at. Let's actually have a look at the map. Some people don't like us because uh, they just dislike us. Uh, they dislike us as well. They like us. They like us quite a lot, actually. Um, opposing culture. 
is the reason they used to dislike us. Uh, same culture, they like us as a result of that, but I've been trading with a Langsketh for a little while, so that has helped. Um, yeah, we've got quite a few people who would be willing to buy. Uh, they need beer. They buy. Okay, well, I may try and sell beer to Bradworth simply to increase their relation with us, honestly. Uh, we are going to need to expand our, our brewing, though, I feel. Um, yeah, we're not stockpiling grain, really, which is a bit of a problem. So, how about we add a little bit more? We'll get an extra grower about there. And another field over here. And they can all take part in uh, harvesting that. That shouldn't be a problem for them. And additionally, we will then add in an extra hop grower. Get you set up. There we are. Get our road out there. And with that, we should have enough that we can afford to set up a new brewery. However, that is going to ne necessitate another well, which is a kind of pain in the bum, but... Uh, well, uh, let's see. Uh, brewery, we'll pop this one here, but we'll put the well just a little bit on from you. About there should do, yeah. There we go. Right, that should help us out a little bit. We'll see more grain being stockpiled and gradually things moving around here. Okay. Once we see a lot of beer starting to, to stockpile, if we actually see beer stocking up back here, then we can start opening up trade. That is going to be a big thing for us. Okay, well, we only need to get to 500 population. I could do that quite easily with this one little district, but it does want us to have more. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and open up a new district. Okay, there we go. We have... A couple of different places coming together. A plague has broken out over here, unfortunately. But it's gone now. Hooray. But we are going to hit nasty levels of unemployment. Very nasty levels of unemployment, actually. I'm a little bit concerned about it. This is just annoying me what it is. Um, let's, let's, let's move that. So that's beer and bread. Sorry, beer and bread stockpile. But you need to move. We'll build you over here instead. There you go. Beer and bread stockpile it is. And uh, we are. And beer. There we go. Sorted. That should take care of everything. Now that area is... Well, we're probably okay with the beer and bread production to, to keep that area going. Are we okay with the furniture? Yeah, more or less. We are not, however, okay with the apothecary. So let's go ahead and get another herbalist shop set up over here. About there we'll do. There we are. That should keep us going. Everything's all right down there. Are we okay over here? Uh, actually, probably wise to get a new um, forester over here. Just making sure that we don't run out of, out of wood over there too quickly. But we're fast on our way to the correct population now. We start planning anything important. We've actually got more flour than we can use. That is actually kind of impressive. Very, very unexpected. So as a result, let's place down another bakery, I think. There we are. We should have more than enough going on. Mind you, of course, any extra green isn't is just being rammed straight in these. Uh, you're waiting on green, it seems. More green it is, then. Let's pop this one down here. There we go. Right, we are practically on top of our goal. This one... Uh, no, I think we should be okay. Wow, we are right on top of the unemployment level. That is actually pretty impressive. All right, well, it looks like we do need to beautify a few things. Now, at this point, we've got a couple of new things we can make. We can even make statues and fountains. As you can see, they're the same size of a house. It's at this point that you can actually make the kind of um, eight-house ring with a, a central tile reserved for something pretty like this because it has an eight- or six-tile radius. They produce fame by themselves um, two per month, which is actually a really big thing. But for the time being, we're going to just keep with the tree method. 
there we go. We might we might uh, change some things up to work with that. Once these upgrade, we should have our 1,000 population. Hello, trader. Uh, have we got much more beer? Um, we've actually got more beer than we need, so sure. Okay, I'm going to start trading. Now, Bradworth, have I got a trade? I don't have a trade here. That's a shame. That is actually a big shame. Oh, well, I'm going to trade with Langsgeth. Uh, I will sell if over 16 in storage. And on that note, I think we're going to go ahead and make another one, a couple of breweries, really. I like some more breweries, honestly. So let's place one of you down right about there. And we should be good. Now, we've got... we've cut through our stock of flour at this point, which is good. We're not collecting taxes right now. Hopefully we're going to be uh, trading beer away, because the amount of beer that we're going to get, or rather the amount we're going to get from beer is significantly higher than uh, what we're spending on eggs. Uh, we could also trade with, yeah, Baldo. Let's go ahead and trade with you, shall we? And once again, only trade if I've got 16 in storage. Now, there is another way that I can make money uh, at the present moment that I'm not, but I should. Let's go ahead and set you up there and there. There we go. We've now got enough room for everything we need. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to plonk down a town hall right about here. Right in the middle there. Uh, we are going to decorate one side. Oh, we will in a moment. Alcohol is generally a great trade commodity, and trade is a very important source of income. Every person in your city generates fame, which can be collected by a minstrel. Fame is also produced by certain buildings and monuments, and is gr uh, granted for winning battles. So, very, very useful. Uh, we are going to set up a tax collector in each area. So, one there, and one up here. Since we've got tax collectors, we want a constabulary. So, get those going as well. However, we want minstrels. Now, minstrels are very important people. There we go. Ah! Oh, scallywag peasants. They think they can do anything they, these days, my lord. A bag of 3,162 coins was just stolen by a burglar right from the tax office. We shall build more conservatories or put those peasants to work. Yes, well, that is, that is rubbish. Look, look at that scoundrel running off there. With the gold. Ah. It's enough to cause me to just stop beheading peasants, frankly. But there we go. Our minstrels will now wander around as well and uh, collect the thing that's just crewing in people's houses. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, no no thing there at the moment, but it does accrue uh, over time. Let's see. Is there any fame around? Generated lore as well, but I've, I've not got a means to get that yet. Oh, well, we're collecting some tax, which is good. And if we have a look at the Minstrel's Guild, it's any house over second level will generate um, fame. And slowly we'll start ticking up. There we go. It's actually going up fairly quickly as it happens. Right. Over here, then, I'm going to drop down some more trees. One there, one there. Just to increase our population just slightly. Now... I would not mind getting a little bit more in the way of beer production. Though, honestly, we're doing fairly well. And we're stockpiling grain. You know what? This Illyria is doing quite well for itself. I need to make 16 loads of beer in a year, though, and I've only made 8 so far. That is not enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, okay, we can uh, afford one more. We'll place it right there. There we go. Hopefully that's going to add to our beer production quite handsomely. 12 so far. Uh, oh, there we are. There we are. I would like to sell to you. Same over here. Sell if over 16. Pretty much all of these. But I'm, I'm willing to sell to any of you. So go ahead. If you want it, you can have it. As long as I'm storing enough, I don't mind. Look at that. Fantastic. All right, City Guard. Every city needs a City Guard to protect it from monsters and invasions. This is something you should focus on as soon as you have enough free workers. Okay. Right, I've got to train 16 archers and 8 axemen. 
and also sell 100 loads of beer in a year. My lord, that's a lot. Now again, this is going to fluctuate up and down based on, on when I'm, I'm doing it. If I uh, sell 100 in a year, that's great. It'll tick, but then it's going to keep keeping track. So like the, the a month passed, I might be below that since 12 months ago. It, it's a little bit frustrating, but also does avoid you just kind of gaming the system a little bit. Right, we can buy iron, leather, and feathers from our neighbors. It is cheaper to buy iron ore and coal and make iron yourself in the smeltery. Also, you can make coal at the wood burner shop. Trade routes may expand. New trade routes may open over time. Improve relations with your neighbors using fame and gifts in order to sim stimulate them to open more trade routes. So that's where fame starts to come in. Now, down here, I'm noticing that we're not really stockpiling too much in the way of wood. So, how about we build another woodcutter's? I think that's a grand idea. Absolutely grand. Let's not run the road over there, though, because that'll uh, be a bit annoying. Let's run it like this instead. There we Oh, apparently no. There we go. Apparently yes. Okay, we want to stockpile some wood because... I'm going to be a bit tight. I'm not going to buy the coal. In fact, there's no one I can buy coal from. So, just as well. But there's also no one I can buy ore from. That is super bad. All right, let's have a look. Who sells ore? Um, you have iron ore. You already kind of like us. You have coal. You can I can actually buy worse from you. Uh, you do not. You do not. You have iron ore as well. But Knockwick seems to be fairly happy with us so far. Uh, I would like to improve relations, but I'm going to need a chunk more fame. Um, I'm going to send you a gift. Actually, cancel. What do you need? They buy, they need logs. Okay, send a gift. I'm going to give you 24 logs. This will increase their opinion by 19. Or I can send you some beer. Oh, wow, well, actually, I can send you quite a lot of beer. That makes me way too much money. I'm going to send the logs. There we go. Diplomatic proposal made. Hopefully soon we'll be able to uh, purchase that from you. But for the time being, uh, we're going to buy feathers up to 16. There we go. And leather up to 16. Got fairly good trade prices with these two. So I'm happy with that. Okay. Now then, what we're going to need is... Uh, well, first and foremost, I'm going to get rid of that tree so I can see these easier. And go to... Oops. Thank you for your gift of 24 loads of logs. It's good that there are some decent people still left in our realm. Oh, that's very nice of you to say. I approve. Uh, right, I'm just going to pop one right there and one uh, there i guess uh we are then going to run this road out of this area there we go and we should be able to connect up over here now then what i'm going to want from over here is let's see we're going to want a flatter shop which is going to require planks and feathers we're stockpiling planks down here but we're going to need more so let's get another sawmill going so fletcher shop first now you can't stockpile weapons it's not how this game works uh, so that that will take care of building me um a squad of archers the next one we're going to need well actually the archers are also going to need leather armor so we're going to need a, a leather armorer and we'll pop the leather armor right about there now, we are going to need some things brought over to us at this point. So, we're going to want leather to be brought over. Get up to 12 leather. Uh, and also feathers. And that'll take care of the archer. Now, we're going to want an axeman. Now, what do the axemen need? They need chainmail and axes. Go figure. Uh, okay, well that's going to require iron. We just don't have that yet, but I'll set this up ready for it. So for this one, we're going to want coal and iron. Actually, no, we'll just have this one request um, the iron bars. Um, and 12 of those. Hmm. Actually, that's a bit of a curious one. 
I'll, yeah, well, I'll just request the iron bars for now. Down here, though, is where we're going to want to set up a couple of other things. We're going to need another woodcutter. Wow. If we do that, we're going to need another forester as well. Only planting trees. There we go. Right, so we've got the woodcutter set up. And what I would like from them is wood burners. Two logs produces coal. It's a lot cheaper than buying the stuff. By a very large margin. It takes more time, but I'm going to be cheeky. So there we are, another um, wood burner. And what we can do here is place this just down there. I would like this to request 12 coal and 12 iron ore, which we will eventually be buying in. Then up here, we can have... Um, now with a smelt tree that would be here so this will then produce iron um, we should be able to get away with two but I'm just going to leave it at one for now how are we doing for population yeah we're good uh, so we'll build an armor shot uh, sorry a weapon smith then just about there now this one should only be producing axes this one should be producing both types of um, armor which is good that's also going to need planks we are going to need a lot more wood. Oh my lord. It's going to be a bit nuts, honestly. Um, let's go ahead and build another sawmill then for that. Well, actually, hmm, mainly to expand my population slightly. In either case, we're going to need more time to pass. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Knockwick has finally allowed us to purchase iron ore and that is pretty much what we were waiting on we couldn't do anything else without it so there we go we're now going to be bringing in a little bit of iron ore and in fact um before that happens we're going to set up a second smeltery i think it, it does seem to make sense to me so we'll set that one up there now the way uh, as i mentioned you can't stockpile weapons or armor for that matter you can't just keep making it as you can in games like stronghold what you do is you plunk down a place that's going to use them so for example in our case we want a bunch of arches uh let's let's have this uh, run a little bit further out to the area where i'm going to recruit all my warriors and we'll place down an archer barracks right about there there we go now at this point immediately we're producing um leather armor and we're producing uh, bows, which is fantastic. So four leather, four planks, they're making bows and arrows. And this one just needs leather because all they're making is leather armor. We are making the um, iron down here, which is fantastic. Uh, are they stockpiling the iron at all? Oh, does, does leather armor perhaps need a little bit of iron? No, the iron is being stockpiled there, that's fine. So what will happen is once there's enough um, stockpiled there, someone will eventually take the the job and as you hear then we've now got ourselves an archer we can command him to go around by uh, clicking on the icon there if you go into squads then you control this you cannot control individual units you control the squad as a whole uh, right now i'm going to tell my uh, my archer to go back and uh, oops sorry go back and man the barracks now we are hurting a little bit for furniture that that does worry me slightly and by slightly i mean a lot mm. we need more furniture because if these devolve we are in a lot of trouble like crazy levels of bad trouble okay well given that then let's uh bring this out a little bit and get ourselves some more carpenter shops uh one is probably going to be enough but i'm going to make two just to be certain i know shut up that is going to go on. Thankfully, it only goes up to eight. And then they stop doing it. Phew. But yeah, we're, we're starting to see uh, the um, houses devolving because of a lack of furniture, which is a massive blow to our economy. So hopefully we can keep the uh, planks flowing. Like All of these are running fairly actively, though. That being said, there's wood moving around almost constantly, which is a little bit of a pain. I've got to be honest. Uh, let's see how that's going. There, it's all reasonably working out. Uh, let's reduce this down to 12. Because a lot of logs are making their way down here, I'm noticing. This area has quite a high consumption. And given that I've got um, a couple of woodcutters down here, that seems a little silly. So, let's go about 
fixing that, shall we? We'll get another couple of woodcutters down here as well. Uh, oh, maybe we won't until I've done that. There we go. And you can go there, and you can go there, and that should tide us over a little bit. Uh, we've still got a, a decent uh, level of employment, and our money is currently going up, which is very good to see. There we are. I can see the uh, the furniture there at the moment, which is grand. Let's make sure they are actually bringing her along, but no, it does not look like they are. That is worrisome. Very worrisome. I would like it if you would bring more of that, I honestly. Hear, People are leaving. No, come back. I need you. No. Majesty. Leaving this miserable place. Oh, you scallywags. This place is lovely. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah! <laughs> well, that was painful. Military, by the way, use a lot of money to sustain. So, it can cause a few problems. Hopefully, we can try and resolve this, though. That, that was quite a blow to our economy, having all of those houses downgraded at the same time. Um, I can only hope that they will upgrade soon. I mean, that one's completely isolated. This one's isolated, so I shouldn't be having trouble with them wandering around. Hmm, I just don't know. Either way, though, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna make some places to make me feel better. I'm gonna place down. Uh, sure, we'll do this. And uh, we're gonna play some park benches in there, a nice little pot, and then some flowers behind. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's, that makes me feel a lot better, actually. Um, I would like some regular plants going along here. There we are. And in fact, I'm gonna have a little road run up there. And another park bench. Up there and there. There we are. And on this side, we'll just have a bit more garden going along there. That makes me feel better about that tragedy that just occurred. I don't care about it anymore. I made something look pretty. It's good enough for me. All right. How are we doing? We are stockpiling quite a lot of stuff. That is good. That means we may be in a position to continue growing then. Okay, so we need one squad of axemen. So I'm going to place you down there. And that is immediately going to kickstart our weapons production and our chainmail production. That's going to consume quite a lot of stuff for a little while, unfortunately. And we're also going to be making more coal as well to be uh, stored and then used. Uh, what I can do next is, sure, we'll place down another archer's area, because we do need to as well. We are not getting nearly enough beer made, though. <sighs> I can't wait to see the comments, given that. Right, okay, so let's draw out. We're going to need a little bit more hops growing, I think. So let's get you on the grow. There we are. How are we doing for wheat? Not amazingly well, actually. Thinking of it. So let's draw this out a little bit more. And get down some more growers here as well. Oh, the comments. I can, I can feel them now through the internet. Okay, now this is going to be the bit of the problem here. We need to increase the amount of beer that people are willing to buy. Um, right, the way we're going to do that is we're going to go out to the world map. And we're going to start making friends. Oi, you. Be a friend. Uh, be more of a friend. Yeah, that'll do for now. Um, you need beer. You also need beer. My lord, everyone needs beer. I mean, I, I understand, I suppose, but... There we go. Well, that's not quite good enough. What else do you need? You <laughs> Iron? Really? <sighs> Alright. I'll give you a little bit of iron. There you go. That should help out a little bit. And hopefully this is going to increase the amount of uh, trade they're willing to do. Now, we've almost got our, sec uh, our first axe route. There we go. Eight uh, loads of iron. That has dramatically improved the situation. And we're doing okay for money, honestly. Uh, it could be a little bit better. We're also shy of a couple of workers, though. Uh, is there anywhere else? Well, actually, you should be upgrading, but I think that has made you upset. Uh, let's actually have a look. Yeah, these, these things are generating a little bit too much upset for our people. So, once again, we're going to set up a little area here. Park, bench, on all sides. Then up at the back, we'll have some gardens, another park bench, I think. A little plant pot, and then just flower boxes. Beautiful. 
that should help out there. You? Really? You still need more? My goodness, you're, you're needy. Fine, you can have some flowers there. Uh, put some on these sides as well. Oh dear. That wasn't a good thing. Suddenly people need lots of food. That I don't have. That's bad. No, actually you've got food. You lie. Stop lying to me. To be fair, when it says that a peddler can handle 24 houses, eh, they don't mean the highest possible upgrade of houses. Sometimes you need more peddlers just because you've got too many people. Um, so given that, I might go ahead and upgrade this slightly by placing down a new peddler in this area just to help out. We don't need to store more. We just need someone to help moving it around a bit more. Over here, it doesn't seem to be as much of a problem, though. So that should help a little bit in this area here. Uh, how are we doing? We've still got a bit of a worker shortage. But have we got more room? No, we don't. Okay. Time to upgrade the houses, then. <laughs> oh, my lord. Okay, I've taken a few steps to try and uh, manage the logistics in the kingdom in hopes that this will in in turn help us shift the amount of beer that we've got because we've got lots of being, beer being produced. We're just not selling it fast enough. Now, the whole thing with the kind of rolling assessment month by month, it assesses how much I've sold in the last 12 months. That does prevent me from gaming the system, but it also means that you're never stuck in a position where your production cycle kind of starts halfway through the year so although you're producing like much more than 100 in a year you never produce that much in six months and that's all it cares about in, in, in that kind of way like when your production drops in some games it can kind of have the seesaw effect well you don't have to worry about that in this one now what i've done is i've set up um some auto uh uh, sorry, I've turned the the, tra the markets off auto in order to try and work with these. Uh, sell, that's fine. Just sell as much as you want. Let's bring that all the way down. But only store 12 iron ore. Uh, and that's true in both of these, I'm going to say. Only allow a storage limit of 12. Our overall trade limit should still take precedence, I would imagine. Currently, I'm buying iron ore and I'm selling iron. It's a pretty good trade for me at the moment. I'm also selling pretty much everything I'm producing and as much as people will take. But I do need to continually manage people's... Um, relations with me. Let's go ahead and improve these relations twice. So hopefully they will increase the amount of beer that they're willing to purchase. This is the only one that will sell beer, so that hopefully more and more will be, be stocked there, and as the caravans come down, they can, they can shift that beer out as fast as they possibly can. But at the moment, it is just coming down to logistics, I'm afraid. Okay, now this is more of what I wanted to see. Beer just being loaded up by the barrels full. Come on. Come on, collect it all. That's right. I want I want to sell a hundred. Maybe even more than a hundred. I want to send two hundred in a year. Come on. Yes! Finally! Okay, good thing we've trained an army. Powerful wizards from a nearby tower threatens that if we don't pay him a tribute, he will destroy our city. Let us show him what Westerners uh, that Westerners can stand up for themselves. Uh do we have to? I uh, sounds uh, sounds like work, Orders. honestly. Uh, Alright. Get out here then. Go, 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 go. Down here. There we go. All of them. Now, with one thing that we haven't been doing is you can actually pick up these. These things from all over the map. These swords and orbs and the like. This one will give us a bunch of magic. This will give us a bunch of things. Why did I send the slowest moving group to go grab that one? That was very silly of me. You, go up there. Grab it. You'll still get back to the tower long before the axemen are there. Also, gold. All sorts of things on the map, but you need a squad to go and grab them. You don't need a full squad, though. You could just train one person to do it. Now, with magic, we can cast spells. We don't know any spells. No spells are known. What we can do, though, is we can research them. Now, we haven't uh, got any means of gathering this, uh, gathering magic normally from our settlement, nor do we have a means of gathering lore yet. But since we just picked some up, we can go ahead, uh, ahead and research some things. And I want healing. Uh, possibly two levels of healing. This means that I can heal 50 hit points within the radius of the spell. Now, that also costs magic, so I'm not going to spend all my magic on that, but uh, it will be pretty good in this fight because, unfortunately for us, 
do. The warlock is a little bit of a scallywag. Mostly because he's got magic. Yes, well, you know, I guess that's to be expected. Really? really? 4,000? Oh, that's fine. I've got loads. It's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind. Though I, I would like it if you could catch the thief. You can occasionally catch them before they get out of the city. Which is always fun. Is that the thief? No, he's got made it. Ah, oh, you scoundrels. He got away. Right, we've got a little bit more magic. So, sure. As we search all the way up to uh, the full level of healing, we can also grab a couple of these. But honestly, it's going to be particularly difficult to get that into the land. Wouldn't mind some extra warriors, though. Sure. Okay, at this point, things are going to get weird. Now, the warlock, I know will be bouncing around all over the place using teleport and then hitting us with pretty nasty spells. So, I'm gonna have my uh, Axemen, who are super slow, attack the tower. When the Warlock pops his head out, my archers can go for him. There we go. I'm gonna want my spells up, though. Um, who are you gonna go for? There we go. Also, Warriors! Ah, I'm out of magics. Well, that was a bit of an annoyance, but... It looks like they uh, did quite a lot of damage to the Warlock. Can you please get involved in this as well? Thank you very much. See, that's the problem with the Warlock. It's kiting my people around, especially my slow ones. So, what I would like... Uh, I've lost one of my Axemen. Now, every unit has got stats, strength, armor, various uh, abilities, morale. They also have levels, you may have noticed, and those do go up over time. Based on winning fights and the like. Uh, can I get you to leave that fight? No? Um, send home? Can, can I get you over there? No? Send home? Will you go home? Yeah, they're kind of going home now. Good, 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 good. I want you to kill the warlock. I've lost almost all of my axemen because you won't shoot at the person that you can hit, but they cannot. Well, you scoundrels. Oh, my archers are not very clever. Unfortunately, this is the downside of not having direct control over the units. Also the downside of me casting that spell when really I should have just saved it up for healing. Oh well, the Warlock's almost dead now and a bunch of levels were gained. Fantastic. Also, got this. Will you uh, go and collect that for me? Go home. Now, will you go collect this for me? What? A no, 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 no. Ah. They're, they're, they're trapped. It's like a lure. They just can't can't resist the the enticing gleam of a tower on fire. Ah, oh, you scoundrels! Oh wow. Uh, right. Well, now we just got to wait a little while. Thankfully, we're continuing to recruit more axemen, which is always good. And yeah, unfortunately, this tower has quite a lot of health. But once we destroy this, then we will have won the level. It's been a little bit of a long one from me. It's been about an hour and a quarter in total. Most of that spent trying to sell enough beer in order to uh, complete that one objective. And our group is re um, restoring their um, strength as well. Now, those two new archers should be on their way down. If we had our Axemen, this would be a lot faster. But there's almost no point in bringing the Axemen down. They would never get here in time. Good riddance! With that Warlock's Tower gone, nothing threatens our city anymore, except their rulership. Honestly, I'm, I'm not a good ruler. I'm going to be honest. They're, they're probably in a fair amount of danger with me at the helm. But that is the end of this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next, where we may jump over into this mission again. All these I've completed previously, so I know what I'm doing with them. But, you know, hopefully that makes the episodes a little bit more entertaining, if nothing else, because I know what I've got to try and set up. But that will be it for now. So do remember, I welcome any feedback. So by all means, post in the comments down below. And as always, remember to leave a like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.